I'm going to give a shout out quickly before we start to everybody who bought the CK2 Humble Bundle yesterday using my link. I actually got way more referrals than I actually thought. I would. Big shout out to you guys. For anyone else who missed it, go check that out. I'll put it a link in the top comment. You've only got to pay a dollar and you get CK2 and all the 6 DLC. That would let you play like 99% of all mods. So please don't miss out on this just in case you missed yesterday's video. Let's get back to some Deus Vaulting. Welcome back, everybody, to Ray. Extremely the true steel of the times of the first dawn. Ray, by the way, being king, because we did become king. Wait, that was two episodes again. Now, what am I talking about? Anyway, I've added some more very fancy features, as the community have requested on yesterday's video. If you want to see things added to this, just leave a comment, and I'll add it in, which is what I've been doing the past couple of episodes. I've added a whole new system. I've completely revamped the angel system from the ground up, so we'll see a bit more dynamic gameplay. It's, well, you know what? I'm not going to spoil it. In fact, I'll, I'll let you see it, but let's put it this way. Depending on how powerful you are as an angel depends on how good of a Christian you are, how virtuous you are, and perhaps something might bad might happen if you fall below those particular amount of virtues. Maybe something really good happens if you get to virtue level 7. But again, we'll, we'll, I'm not going to spoil it. We'll wait for that to happen. Uh, I've added some other stuff as well. Now, somebody requested a system very similar to, say, the Caroly and Jim Blood, where you get great warriors to come into your court, and those guys might, say, be angels, or at least be very powerful if you've got an angelic blood, bloodline. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's a great idea. So we are going to roll with something like that, in the meantime, a lot of you have pointed out how weak Alba, or specifically, like, you know, the, 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 the British Isles are, or it's not really the British Isles, I, I think we'll stick with Alba, huh? This gigantic Celtic Empire they've built, they only have 31,000 men, and they're led by just this random dude. Not even a military education, not even a god, not even a demigod anymore. His father was a demigod, the human blood is dominant now in their bloodline. Probably the only pantheon that that's actually true with, right? Because I believe Asgard still have still have Odin. Olympus most likely still have Zeus. I haven't tracked on them in a while. I assume Russia is still Perun. In fact, Perun declared war on us. So we definitely know that's the case. We've got to defend ourselves for the time being. We are absolutely going on offensive today and I've got some some tricks up my sleeve. We've got some we've got some little secrets ready to fire that uh, might give us a, a, a little bit of an edge here. They're not going to give us an advantage. They're just going to at least try and level the playing field because of course as we've seen before, these gods are insane. What about, like, uh, Kemet as well? Are they still in charge of... Yeah, Ra's still in there. So, the, uh, weirdly enough, the Celtic Panther is the only one that's really, truly fallen apart here. We are more or less the only strong Christian kingdom, I'd say, at this point. Obviously, the Holy Roman Empire is, is losing its northern borders. It's losing its eastern borders to Russia. Its western borders are being pushed back by France as well, which has also been just completely annihilated at this stage. So, we need to be very vigilant at this point because we essentially have just a massive target on our back um, to such an extent that we've now got, of course, Perun after us too. So, this is a flower war, which means they're not actually after any land. They're just after prisoners and sacrifices to, I guess, per Perun, the, the slaughterer there. So, we probably want to try and stop that as soon as possible. I don't know the best way to fight a flower war. I'm going to be completely be honest with you. Uh, I mean, I assume just playing the most defensive strategy possible, right? Because it's going to be a lot harder for them to land troops onto an island and succeed than it is going to be for us to go and fight. You can never fight, never go to Russia. We're not going to rush down the Russian capital. I think that's a terrible idea. So I'm going to get all my troops from all of our various islands here, from Sardinia, from what we've got left in sort of Provence, Nice, that area. And we're just going to drag them all over to our own capital because that's where most of the war school is coming from. They probably won't be able to win the war short of doing that. And if we've got all the armies over there as well, they definitely won't be able to win the war without, uh, without at least killing some of the troops or at least trying to land a force here. Oh, God. Um, another thing as well... I was looking through our descendants, and things are a bit of a mess. Our our current heir is not even an angel, Leon the Handsome, just a random frail diplomat. He's not he's not bad. He's not good either. We definitely want to start setting up the family so that we have a better a better descendant, a better character to play as next. So I'm thinking, and and Chase sort of reminded me to do that here. Why don't we renounce our vow of celibacy? Why don't we get rid of that? I can't resist that. Okay, Sanctus Day prospers good. Let's get rid of that, and uh, let's just get back on board with hopefully adding some more members to the Death Vault Dynasty, which is dwindling. You know, almost half the living members have died, and obviously we're, we're of course, still alive, and we were the first member. So, almost all of our descendants are uh, very quickly disappearing here. We've Did we marry off extremely in the end? We did. Okay, that's good. Oh, shit. So, this is part of the new system I've implemented, funnily enough. Uh, if an angel, if someone ha up with angelic blood, happens to be a wicked character, man, I didn't even realize it. Gluttonous and proud. He's, he's obviously a fallen angel. He can't call himself a true angel if he's got gluttonous, proud, deceitful there as well. We can redeem him. You know, if he, if he gets rid of these bad traits and comes back to being virtuous, then he can gain the trait angel. And he can get rid of that if he goes back to zero as well. So, oh man. Our opinion of him is going to be super, super low then, isn't it? Raise the opinion of extremely fallen angel minus 50. He's bought it on himself. He's bought it on himself. We obviously can't play as this character. Now, fallen angels are a little more... Um, 
what's a, ruthless might be the best word. Obviously, higher martial there, higher intrigue, lower diplomacy, sort of average stewardship, average learning. But they get that bonus to personal combat because they are ruthless. They're not going to be held back. It's very similar to the angel trait that we've got. However, basically inverted, so that all of the skills, it, all of the skills are sort of um, diluted down into just martial and intrigue and personal combat. Whereas, of course, we're very good at diplomacy. That guy's terrible. I hope you don't end up playing as him with his one diplomacy. Anyway, let's focus on his home defense for a while. So you might have guessed that's the that's the new system, by the way. Oh my god, what? Infirm? Oh man, okay. Um. Wow. Oh, okay. You know what? That's not a big deal, to be honest. It's not like it's incapable. Infirm is just a minus three to everything. Minus 30% fertility, minus one health, minus 50 personal combat. It, it's bad, but it's not terrible. You know, even though he's being kept alive by the blessings of God, he still has a human body at the end of the day, so I don't really know what we expected there. Um, he's still fine, though. He's still great for leading armies. 39 marshes. He's, he's almost un unseconded, you know, for leading armies here. Let's get all of our people over there. Good. Thank you. And I guess we'll wait. I, th I think we've just got to sit here and wait for them to come to us. Galileo of House Madness, the demigod there, descendant of some pagan mad god, has, has finally died at the age of 85. It's God's blood kept him alive too. Fairly impressive. He actually died a lot younger than I'd expect, given that he's got plus 8 health. Is Lunatic a... Nope. I, I thought maybe that Mythos made Lunatic into a uh, health malice or something along those lines. Damn. So we've got Steve, the powerful Arcane Master. Yeah, you sound exactly... I mean, Arcane Master doesn't necessarily mean he is a master of the Arcane. He might just be extremely knowledgeable about demons and, you know, how to banish them and such things. Uh, can we proselytize? In fact, we definitely need to proselytize, don't we? What's Provence? Well, Denzian. Oh my god, this has got out of hand. Okay. Now, another thing as well that a lot of you suggested that I absolutely agree with. Oh man, we inherited... Oh, I'm not paying that much money for male horse armor. Um, another thing a lot of you guys have pointed out is that we should probably go to war against the HRE of all people to try and depose the Antipope. That way, any Crusades... that Because we've got a Crusade lined up right now, right? That way, all of the people in the HRE will pledge their troops to the Pope's Crusade because they wouldn't have another religious head. Do we want to do that now? Um, oh, I, I kind of do, yeah. How many troops have the HRE got? 12,000. I'm going to do it. We're going to get to war with the HRE and we're going to get rid of the Antipope and unite Christendom with... Or unite you know, what's left of Christendom anyway. Get everybody over here. Um, oh, you know what? Let's drop our... How about we how about we drop our army levels to start off with? How to CK2. Declare war. Depose Antipope. Get rid of him. Right, let's do it. I'm, I'm going to just, you know, carpe diem and all that. We, we were absolutely going to push the opportunity while we've got it. While he's got a low amount of troops. Before Perun turns up, they're still at 0% war score. So really no immediate threat coming in from that. Even though I should kind of be a bit worried about throwing away some of our troops here. But 500 gold in the treasury as well. We can hire some mercs if we need it. I don't think it's going to get to that state. Right, merge these boys together. Let's get on the boats now. We've got to go and pick up all our other troops, unfortunately, as well. But uh, just par for the course, really. Right, get all you guys. Okay, quickly, just get... Is it worth waiting for those few more people? Oh, another thing as well. I am missing the more comforting aspects of the faith. Another thing I figured is, why don't we leave the Benedictine Order and rejoin it so that they'll force us to do penance and things. That way, we can start gaining our virtues back. Might not be a bad idea. You've got to remember, we are summoning... We, we're trying to work out how to breach the barrier between heaven and earth and summon some angels back down. Maybe we can bring back Bl Brother Lubbaget. Rest in peace. So I'm going to leave the Benedictine Order and rejoin it. Um, when there's a... I mean, obviously, this guy's taken over to bead. Uh, is that the court chaplain of the Irish band? Wow, what a weird guy to be put in charge of the Benedictine Order. Bear in mind, Ireland is one of the biggest... What the hell is going on here? What are the Lions of Anur? What? Sekhmet? Oh my god, that's cool. Um, is this like an Egyptian pagan one? Lions of Anur is the name suggests fight for the glory of the lion-headed war god Anur, the slayer of enemies, led by a cat. You've got to admit, that's pretty incredible. That is absolutely fantastic. Well done, CK2. What about this one? Follower of uh, some, some Celtic god there. Oh, right, because we have, we're neighbours of them, aren't we? We, we own this province, so we are actually neighboured with Comet now, and of course we, we neighbour Alba too, because they've grabbed this random part of uh, apparently our kingdom there. Sounds of the first time I didn't realise that was uh, supposed to be ours. Interesting. Wow. And then, of course, we've got all of our various different uh, Catholic holy orders. We are going to go back to the Benedictine Order, like I said, because I want to get some more virtues for reasons. You want betrothal between my granddaughter to your... Uh, she, she's got angelic blood, though, hasn't she? Ah, oh, man. I mean... I mean, we, we can't... Is, is it just elective? Is it agnatic? Oh, it's agnatic cognatic, though. Shit, we've got another fallen angel in our family there. She's slothful. Okay. Um, we've got Blanca, who is very average. Our son, of course, a, a very far fallen angel. I might elect... I honestly might elect her as my heir, Brandamina, because she's very good. And I'm not really sure what our, my other son is, is capable of doing. She's an angel. She is virtuous. She hasn't got enough to actually become an angel. But she does at least... Fuck! That was meant to be my fleet levies. Ignore that. Ignore that. 
Right, let's do it. Let's march on the capsule. The crusade was cancelled as well, which is not much of a surprise, is it? I mean, I, I don't know what I expected. Did that girl had have angel blood? Who was that? It must have been some distant descendant of us or, or something along those lines. So the cool thing about this new angelic system is, like I said, it's kind of a scale going from fallen angel to neutral, which is just regular angelic blood, to angelic form up to archangel. If you are incredibly virtuous, we can get to those lofty heights. And then even then, it's still not as powerful as God, which of course there are literally dozens of those guys leading armies against us. But it is still powerful enough that we should go for it. She actually is. Who is she? Um... Who are you, random angelic blood girl? Siblings? My kinsman? She bastard my dynasty? How, though? Oh! Well, that's sort of giving it away, right? Her mother is just this random courtier of mine, and she has angelic blood. So, you can kind of put two and two together there. She must have... And she's got she's got our bloodline as well, by the way. Um, Yeah, okay. We'll train you in... Okay, fine. Try and get a patient, I guess, because that it would be another... We might be able to unlock her angelic potential here. If you get Virtuous level 3, she can become a full-blown angel. Let's also educate ourselves, then. I didn't realize that she was our... Uh, well, I mean, we're educating her. I want to be a guardian, though. Um, where are we? Hello. Boom. She could be a good descendant for us. In, oh, well, she's not a dynasty. That's the only problem. But she could at least be a good commander for us in the future, huh? Right, hello. We're here to get rid of your antipope because you're kind of completely ruining... Any chance this faith has going for it. Luckily, they've just had their arse handed to them by someone because all their garrisons are depleted. So this should take all of about 30 seconds. Damn it, that horse lasted about all of five minutes. Apparently, during the siege, another arrow hit the damn thing. I suppose we could try and... Oh, Haunted Castle. Oh, damn it, our summoning is failing. Trying to get in touch with the spirits of our ancestors. That's obviously not going too well here. China's still expansionist. That You guys are our lifeline here. Please help me. Um, let's try and get a Chinese war horse. Please. What have we got? 66% chance of a ceremonial horse. 34% of a war horse. Come on. What do we get? Chinese ceremonial horse. Damn it. Okay. Well, we'll roll with it for the time being. I only really want it for the uh, reinforcement rate and things like that. Um, there we go. So that's equipped. And then we want to re... Oh, we're now an occultist. Right, okay, well, knowledge of the occult seems do does seem a little bit heretical, but also seems incredibly useful given the, the uh, you know, the, the, the current scenario. Oh, I want the movement speed, actually. Forget the horseshoes. There we go, okay. Oh, can we also request anything else from China? I'll just keep a close eye on that, because, of course, we've got... We only need 5,000 for an invasion, so everything else we could spend on, you know, artifacts or, or I guess, eventually trying to get one of these goddamn war horses. Having heard of your campaign against heathens and sinners and angelic figures arrived in your court, seeing, seeing to join... Sorry, <laughs> seeking to join your most holy crusade. Welcome, my brother. Good work on your proofreading. A man named Durgan. Let's take a look. Where is he? Um, all right, let's go to our core a second. Oh, I hope he's good. Uh, his name is not Durgan. It's, in fact, Kavtia. And these guys are semi-randomized. And my god, did we get a good one here, huh? Grey Eminence, Holy Warrior, Sparse. What? Oh, so that loses fertility. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because he's a friggin' angel. Strong, immortal, angelic form, angelic blood. Welcome, my friend. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> order to take the vows. I feel like it's a bit late for that, huh? Wow. Okay, right. So we'll set that up. And that, like I said, is similar to the Carlin Bloodline. Just to, we can only get a maximum of four of these, just so you know. It, it's not going to be hyper overpowered. But let's give us an edge against fighting all these ridiculous gods. I think even then we're still going to get melted. But hey, at least they can go down with us, huh? At least we're not fighting completely alone like we have been. Excellent. Welcome. A woman named Victoria. Okay, we got, a, we got a lady angel. I don't know why the names don't actually equate to whoever spawns. That's so weird. Her name was actually Eugenia. Weird. Um, this one, not so good. Unfortunately, only an amateurish plotter. Still very decent, though. Still got a lot of these virtues. Um, and of course, they do all spawn in with angelic blood because they are, they are angels after all. However, they are infertile. So don't think we can start some great angel inbreeding program here to try and uh, get, a multi get a massive army of the things. Can we set you as a commander then? Uh, where's the other guy? Why is he not a commander? Uh, CK2, are you having a are you having a bad day? Are you having a bad day? Chancellor. Oh, I'm ending my chancellor. Well, that was very silly. Um, oh, no, commander of the signs of the first dawn. You're fooling me. C commander? Nope. I must be completely. CK2 is having a bad day. You know what? Maybe it's something to do with this war. Maybe they want to fight religious enemies. I didn't tell them to do that. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's not a big deal right now. It will be a big deal when we're fighting the gods. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God, we're already infirm, stressed, and wounded. And we've got an infection. Do I have a court physician right now? Um, I was going to say, we've got recruit court physician. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. My mistake. My mistake. That explains a lot. Court physician, please. Uh, you'll do. Fine. You know what? Having an angel treat, and it seems like, uh, seems like it might be a good idea here. Um, ask courtiers to leave court. We can kick out our, our excess courtiers here. Let's get rid of them. We can at least bring and watch the gold up here, because last time I've had it, or, or at least one point I had it so that we kicked somebody out and we got like 2,000 gold out of it. It was absolutely insane. Or was it like 11,000 gold now that I think about it? Something ridiculous like that anyway. Um, let's get you collecting some taxes in case we do need mercenaries. This war is going to be very long and very protracted, unfortunately. I am sieging the, uh, the anti-pope's capital there, but it's going to take a hell of a long time. Oh, shit. 
That's really bad. Great holy war for the science of the first dawn. The mighty archdruid Domnal the second has decided it's time to teach Ray extremely the science of the first dawn the believers of the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. What do you mean another lesson? When was my first lesson? Huh? Archdruid Domnal the second the legendary. Um, not really that legendary. The God's blood runs thin. The God's blood runs thin, my friend. Two arms. Ah, shit. Right as we're in the middle of a war with Russia and the HRE. Wow, we are well and truly beset on all sides, huh? Hey, China, how about that invasion? No? No? No invasion? Good. Um, big, big fuck. This is a real problem. The Pope is our ally. We like you more than your enemies. Too far away. Fighting for the church. You're goddamn right. Send him a gift. Call to arms. My, why the Pope, though? Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's call him to arms. I didn't know you could even call the Pope to arms. If he says no now. If he says no, you might as well kiss your bloody faith away. Of course, I will answer. Thank you. Thank you, Pope. Much appreciated. What's he managed to pick up these days? Light's Bane. That doesn't sound very good for a Pope, does it? Okay. Um, convert to attackers' religion, by the way. I feel like that's a terrible idea. Shit. Um, I almost want to offer these guys white peace so we can focus on other wars, but we are so close to reunifying the Catholic faith and being able to launch crusades again that I don't know that I can. Um, fine. Cartographer. There you go. Welcome. No, no, no. Sack, sack her. Put someone else in charge. I don't know why I can't give these these angels commander status. The game already thinks they are commanders. Oh, what if I go to them and then, like, revoke title commander and then give it back to them immediately? Uh, revoke title. Court physician. Um, fire chancellor. Chancellor. Yeah, obviously. Relief commander. There we go. And let's give it to him manually. Maybe that'll work instead. I feel like it's where the game... Oh, we can't even make her a commander. Well, that's a bit backwards. I feel like it's where the games try to auto-assign them as commanders, and then something... Yeah, there we go. Something added by... Oh, I might not have even just noticed him, because I didn't really realize he had bloody 18 Marshall there. What a garbage man. Okay. Um, let's stick with this war for a while. Let's see how we can do. Now, what I can do is also obviously hire some troops, if we if we really feel it's necessary. We can get the Roman legions back. Help me, Romans. Uh, God, they are way too expensive. Don't help me, Romans. German company under my good friend Popo. Um... I almost kind of want to get these guys. 108 gold per month. We're earning two gold per month. Okay, 500 up front. That means that we can have them for around a year before they're going to disappear. Um, no, I think we can hold out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. We've, we've got to risk it here. We've got to try and reunify the Catholic faith. Otherwise, no crusades can ever go through. I got his leading troops through the HRE. Um, oh my God, that's actually the leader of the Empire, Arch Army of Archdruid Domnal the Second. Let's go for him. Where's he heading to? Cleave. Um, we'll cut through a monster, but I feel like we're probably actually going to end up... Oh, he's, he's retreating back. I was going to say we'll meet him in Berg. Nice. Caraman became a brilliant strategist. She could be... Ah, lustful. That sucks. Um, brave, though? <laughs> Dull. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. There's me singing her praises. She's actually kind of trash. Who is this, then? Another another one of the Celtic Pantheon. And are they a god? They're not a god. Son of Balor. They are a demigod, though, so be somewhat careful. It is us, our good friend Laszlo Arpad, a demigod, and then we've got ourselves to Katvia, the uh, the fairly garbage angel. Let's do it. That, that probably won't be how he's remembered in the, in the holy book, I will admit, the fairly garbage angel. Here we go. Come on. We've got to rely on our massively powerful center here. I should have really reinforced. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, the flank's gone. The garbage angel on the flank. He's failed us. How opportune! To the great Ray Extremely from the Captain Toll of the Irish Pirates, our inability of our previous employer to provide a contractual pay has caused us to look for employment elsewhere. Thank you, my friend. Might be too little too late. Oh my god, the centre. Look at the centre. Oh my god, we've done it. Okay. That counted as no war score. That counted as no war score, by the way, despite the fact that we uh, that we killed some of their troops there. Fuck you too. Fuck you. I mean, that is, that is our enemy. That is our enemy, but apparently we get no war score for that one because reasons. Oh no. Um... Should we retreat back to the capital? In fact, if we kill those troops in the capital, it might be enough to give us enough war score to maybe encourage the HRE to surrender. Um, right, put down the fleets. Put down the hired fleets as well. Let's get everybody over to Provence. And where are these... Where was this army? Where was this other army? That uh, army of... Who are the, where are the Irish pirates then? Or was it just the boats? Well, that's okay, because I guess that means that this guy is bankrupt too? No, he's got 69.69 gold. Uh, 69.67, that's unfortunate. 69,000 gold, oh, is that it? Is that it? Only 69,000. Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> the angels weren't enough. My new systems are not enough. Please send help. Oh, God. Um, right. Let me think about this for a second, then. So, um, Roman legions? <sighs> this might be really cursed. I'll fulfill my duties as expected. Of course I will. Of course I will. Of course I will fulfill my duties. What am I, some sort of non-duty fulfilling man? Uh, extremely on the sensor. You know what? 
I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Put all the Roman legions on the center. Thank you, Romans. Very cool. Um, how are our... Oh, where are our troops? Miles away. Absolutely miles away. Have we got any pro troops in this province we can raise to help just increase the average morale? It's not going to increase it by much, but even 4.9%. Oh, my God. I think we annihilate them. My God, that went fast. God's blessings upon you. Thank you for interrupting this middle of this battle. Oh, my God. We actually did. The Romans did it. We lost 89 men. Oh, my God. Everyone on the center. Legit good tactic. Why have I not been doing this the entire campaign? Extremely. Blessed by the Lord. Oh, my God. Okay, right. Get you guys down here. Please help me. For the love of God, please help me. We've got to remember we're at war with Perun, the HRE, and Alba here. This is the most fucked it's ever been this entire campaign. That's a lot of people in our capital. Oh, they've actually taken the capital as well. How's the Grand Fortress coming along? 76 point. See, when that's done, we, we don't have to worry about any wars like this going on in the future because the amount of bloody fort level it has, the amount of garrison level it has. Don't do this to me right now. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, cool. We've got, we inherited everything. No way. He's gone. Died of an infected wound. What the fuck? This is cursed. This is cursed. This is utterly, utterly cursed. I recently inherited Miraculous Icon. Yeah, I think we will keep that. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Um, Biagio, extremely, my brother. We've still got extremely in the family. We've still got that angelic blood in the family. Um, you, uh, focus on the... Let's, let's turn you into an Archangel. We, we are becoming a goddamn Archangel, whether it takes us all year. Um, if we don't really have all year. We have about five minutes. Okay. Let's take a look here. 31,000 men. They're taking attrition damage, but they're also not moving. So it, uh, either they're going to get on the boats and fuck off, at which point we can launch counter attack, or we can wait for them to attrition down. Oh, they're leaving. Okay, right. Okay. Um, oh, he's died, and I guess he educated her because I can't believe Extremely fell from grace that fast. F's in the chat. I'm actually kind of a little bit taken aback by that. Become kind. We are we are becoming a kind. Cha we're charitable, diligent, kind. Ca we've got cancer, but if, if we get some of those angelic blessings, it might save us from it. Let's go. Okay, good start. Fantastic start. That might be enough to really get the HRE to piss off. Again, I might go for a white piece with those guys so that we can focus our efforts. Oh my god, this is really bad. Dedicate time to reading the scriptures. Please do. Please do. We need that blessing sooner rather than later. Blackguard will get us just dessert. The Roman legions have turned against us. Not the Romans. Oh god, Tacticus get the cross. Holy shit, what a good timing. Thank you. Wait. What? One, two... We actually have three! Oh my god, because we got kind from what we decided we actually didn't hate Antistodon extremely in the end. And now, we gain our angelic strength. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. What does that do again? Um, oh, it, it's just good. Yeah, I remember. It's, it's just It feels like it's been ages since I've looked at it. Holy shit, this is fantastic. Um, and that's going to give us a plus five health, which cancels out can cancer. Because that's plus five and that's plus three. My god, it's as if I, the clouds parted. And there he was, our grandfather's face, right extremely the true steel, looking down from heaven. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Thank you. Thank you, Grandfather. You're right, it is. And now we're going to get our fucking ass handed to us by the Romans because we have no one leading our troops. Um, no. These heathen delusions do not interest me. How dare you? Um, yeah, this could... Thank you, Lord. 91%. Oh, my God. We can unify the faith and, and beat our enemies. Holy shit. Hang on. Who's this siege by? Uh, this is siege by the HRE. If we take this one back, we might have won. 96%. What the fuck do you mean 96%? Who's this? Toledo also taking their stuff. Well, that was not going to affect us, is it? Also, why are we losing so much gold now? Where's all my money gone? Why is it suddenly hit rock bottom, like, out of nowhere? I have no clue. Um, have we got... You got any more of those troops, though? No. Oh, my God. This could be... This could be hard fought. We may have won the, won the battle, but we may have lost the war. 100%. We've done it. I mean, we've unified the Catholic faith, but at what small cost? Um, well, I mean, apparently losing losing potentially everything here to... I mean, if we can get a white piece with these guys. If we can get a white piece, that's what I'm going to go for now. The Spear of Lou. Yeah, I've shoved my Spear of Lou right up your... Pope, where are you? Where is the Pope these days? Oh, he's not in Rome anymore. Uh, hey, what do you think of us now? 100 opinion, by the way, because we deposed anti-pope plus 50. We have the blood of extremely true steel, because of course we do. We have piety. We have the the theological focus. Holy shit. Is she going to be... The accidental successor that I didn't... She's a good character, don't get me wrong. She's got like 30 diplomacy, 23 martial. She had good stats before she even ascended to becoming angelic. All she had to do was let go of the hate of her grandfather. Right, okay. Uh, shall I rush that down? Russian army. They've got, they've got no own... And the Russians have turned up. The Russians have turned up as well. They, did they wait until these guys declared war? Is that it? Sacred text, illuminate me. 
Yes, they do. Should have waited for our morale to increase a little bit, huh? Oh, well, never mind. Uh, Carpe diem. Let's go for it. Oh, come on. Hold. Hold. Oh, Stray Harrow hit my fucking Chinese ceremony horse again. Oh, my God. This could be a problem. This could be a real concern. Okay, where's all my fucking money going, though? I'd like to know where that's disappeared to all of a sudden. Seeing as... I mean, I'm seeing as we're not spending any money. Also, her head is here. Why is she wearing the crown so high up on her goddamn head? That's so weird. Um, she's like literally just nestled in her hair. Right, okay. You start collecting taxes. See if you can get a tithe from what's left of our burning capital. You start training some troops very quickly, my my dearest brother. Can I marry my brother? Um, no, problem. He's also a fallen angel, so yes, we don't talk about him. Um, oh god, this is this is fucked. Um, pause the. I mean, they're already paused, right? R yeah, okay, they're fine. Uh, let me let me think of how we can earn back a couple of a couple of gold pieces. Here's the strategy. Why don't we invite every single person in the world to our court, and then kick them out for five gold? It's it's garbage, and it might not work. Oh, come on, give me something. Okay, we earned a, bit, a little bit of profit out of that one. We got 100 gold. Okay, debts are paid off. Thank you. Um, oh, because we've got too many titles. Right, okay, because she's nowhere near as skilled as our as our previous lord. We're going to have to give some titles away here. We're going to have to give away Sardinia. Um, is there anybody in the Deus Vault dynasty that would like Sardinia? Leon the Handsome. My brother, who is not an angel, who is just a regular old man, Please take the Duchy of Sardinia and serve us well. Um, also, get yourself married, for God's sake, man. You're letting the whole dynasty down here. Not that he's got the angel blood, so I don't care either way. Right, set this as our crown focus. I can't believe we lost that intestine extremely that quickly, but we're already back to being the angel, so I'm okay with that. Um, donate to charity. Absolutely not. You can wait on that one. Same with same with composing a book as well. Do need to get coronated. I might even borrow some money and hire the Romans again. Even though they've let me down once. That was kind of my own fault. Right, Robert, Marshal of the Treasury. Start training troops. Shit. Um, oh, God. Now we've got to go for treatment. My life is in your hands. It's gone. But we've become severely injured. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's more likely to... Dis obviously, that will heal eventually. We've just got to wait and hope we don't get yet another infection. What did he... He, like, gouged her face out. She had some, like... Oh, no. Why now, Russia? Why would they turn up now? Um, okay, let's, let's think about this. Let's, let's see, if you don't fucking stand by, because I really don't care. That we can't do for a while anyway. Um, trade master, yeah, don't really care about that one. Let's just make sure our commanders are okay. 10, 14, 12. Goodbye, bishop. Thank you. Uh, no, that guy did not have 21. He had 21 stewardship, not 24, 21 marshal. Let's get someone else on board. Who we got? Join corps, preferably. Excuse me, preferably. Can't afford to... Extremely. Why did you leave my court, my brother? Come back. I need your help. God damn it. It's probably because I've caught him. I mean, he is a fallen angel. He's probably got offended at me laughing at him. Haha, <laughs> loser. Right, get everyone else on board. Um, Alv, you sound like a little bit of a heretic, but that's okay. Welcome aboard. There we go. Let, uh, that'll do it. Okay. This is bad. I won't lie to you. This is really, really bad. We've got two wars against two of the strongest pantheons on the map, but we've got no way to, to defend ourselves from either. Um, right, let's quickly sort our commanders out then. Extremely welcome aboard. Let's go for you, whose name I definitely could not pronounce in 100,000 years. You're fired, and you are fired. Okay, that's looking a lot nicer. How many troops have we got in the capital? How many troops have we got full stop? 3,000. Oh, my God. Uh, money? Excuse me, can I borrow some money? I'm just going to take out all the money I possibly can. Now, that's given us a horrible negative here. General opinion, minus five. Monthly I mean, local build cost is up as well. Fine. Holy orders. We're defending from heathens. Help me. Help me, holy orders. Merge them together. It's, it's 700 troops that we didn't have previously, so you know what? I'll take that. Let's raise our personal levies, or at least what we can. Um, oh, really? That's all we've got, huh? Fine. Um, get these boys on some boats. Send them around to... Sorry? Oh, right, because the boats are moving. There we go. Right, get on the boats. Get on the boats. Let's... Pick up this. I'm, I'm going to pick up every last man, woman, and child we can to fight. Seriously, just put a, put a sword in their hands. Let's, let's get on with it. Okay. Oh, they're coming over. Um, Now to spend some money. Okay, mercenaries. Who shall we hire today? Roman legions. Get fucked. You guys you guys basically betrayed us. Um, The white company. The great company. I mean, well, I'm looking at the troop compositions here. They're, oh, man, these guys have heavy entry. Boom. Welcome aboard. Right. Don't fail me. The I'm going to admit the morale is very low. Like, dangerously low. If we reinforce quickly with these guys, the average morale will increase to about 50%. Because, of course, they're doing a, a naval landing here. What did they do? They stopped. They stopped? Ignore him. Please gain humble. Please, 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 please gain humble. You big fuck. Um, the upkeep cost to your mounts will be deducted. Okay, stop showing me this. That's fine. I hope they approach us to buy all of this random garbage we looted from the HRE. We've got a bundle of hides. We've got... Oh, is that it? Okay, I guess that's not so good after all. Oh, we've got silk cloth there, too. This is fine. 
This is fine. I'm still not panicking quite yet, as you can tell by my voice. Extremely welcome aboard. Right, let's go for Sinead, and let's go for... Brandamina. Start building up her skills a little bit. You got? Did she get any... I don't remember if she gets any offensive bonuses from that. Damage against religious enemies plus 50%. I'm going to put her on the center. I know she's got the lowest martial out of all three of our commanders. So I'm going to put her on the center. Right, um, also balance these. So you got 3,000, 3,900. I, I think I want more on the center because of that little bit of bonus damage there. Swap these two around. There we go. That's looking nicer. Our, our flanks are almost perfectly balanced, and then we in the center have all the strength here. Right, I guess we better start launching this counterattack. Now, we are actually gaining passive war score with these guys. Russia and their flower war have stopped them sieging our things, which is very, very kind of you. Thank you, Russia. Actually kind of a blessing in disguise. Um, oh, the Iberian Reconquest. Not now. For fuck's sake. Okay, fine. We'll help out with that at some stage too, I'm sure. Do we do we risk that? We're going to be taking it. Oh, they've got hills, and they've got, obviously, the straight crossing. Should we just sit here? <gasps> Thank you. Beatified. You are goddamn right. Extremely Deus Vault lived a pious life. Truly following the example of God. He passed on the 3rd of September, 1147, and people have long wondered if he would be considered a true Christian or not. A large ceremony is held in extremely his honor by the Pope to celebrate the life he lived. A virtuous example of the true Catholic. The Pope will write his name among the pious Christians of old. A bastion of piety in life, a stalwart example in death. Blessed be the memory once again in the arms of God. Blessed be his name. Um, if you could make him a Pope, uh, like a saint though. I mean, beatified is like the first step, isn't it? You get beatified, then you get canonized, right? I'm not an expert on it by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that's the way around it goes. I mean, no pressure, but uh, I'd kind of like... What saints do we have right now? We've got this guy. This guy became a saint. Are you kidding me? I think the Pope... That's when the Pope put his foot down, wasn't it? And said, I, I get control of who gets who gets to be named true true good boy Christian. Um, now I guess we wait. I guess we wait. The issue is this is going to be very expensive. Stop bothering me. Um, do we just go for it? I mean, it's Russia and Alba. The army of uh, Ardry Fergal. Right. I want to find him and see whether or not he's a god. Because if he's not, I'm going to roll with it. Uh, we're looking for... Let's take a look. Deus Vault? Question mark? Oh, man. Look at the armor, though. That looks cool. Right. Give it a... <sighs> Fuck. What, what else can I do? What, what are we going to do? Just stand here and go bankrupt? Here we go. They've got no commanders whatsoever. Hang on. Oh, because the Russian army are the ones... Leading the siege and they bought no commanders. Hence why it says Russian army. Well, that's absolutely hilarious. Thank you uh, My poor Chinese this this episode despite the fact we lost brother extremely You know the biggest loss here just the just a mountain of dead Chinese ceremonial horses Honestly, we're just piling them up in the sea at this point This won't be a straight cross by the time we're done It'll be we'll be floating over on the backs of bloated Chinese horse get out of here a uh, horse horse not what, whatever else that YouTube thinks I'm going to say. There we go. Hunt them down. Kill them all. Uh, no, actually, counter siege first. <laughs> counter siege first so we can start reinforcing our troops from here. They destroyed my trade post. Do you remember how long, how long and how much money I spent? <gasps> Zealous. Zealous is good. Lose the trait civilian. Injured. All it took was becoming having faith in the Lord. Okay, this is good. I would like some more virtues, though, if you don't mind. I know it's, I know it's a lot to ask, but that would be absolutely fantastic if you want to, like, uh, you know, say, hey, go and do some penance or something. That'd be pretty good. Pilgrimage! Now's not the time, my friend, but I will do that the second we're done. Thank you. Um, we're sort of being annihilated here. Okay, we are, we're losing war score. We're losing war score with uh, Alba, but we've regained war score with Russia. So, I mean, balance is all things should be, right? To say that we've also gone through a succession, that's... I think we're doing well. Oh my god, my poor horse. Please, it's like a fucking pincushion at this point. Right, let's make sure all these troops are completely gone, then we're going to launch the counterattack. We're not sitting on these islands anymore. Not like, not like extreme. Antistan and extremely said what you will have been built a great, great realm, but he didn't do much for actually, you know, aggressively trying to save the faith. I think Alba is the war we need to focus on. Because at the end of the day, the Russian war is just a flower war. They're going to take sacrifices, they're going to kill them. You know what's going to happen? The whole of Catholicism might as well be sacrificed if Alba wins, because we're the last holdout here. There is nothing then to stop them going for the Pope, going for... I mean, they've already gone for the Pope, let's be honest. Going for what's left of the Hijar in France. Oh my god, they're being melted. We're going to go up to the capital, and I'm going to I'm gonna eat him. I'm not actually going to eat him, but I'm, I mean, like, metaphorically, we're going to... Catholicism is going to swallow him up for his sins. What's the religion map mode looking like? Oh, a fucking mess. Thank you for asking. Um, that's horrendous. Thank you for the silk cloth, though. Jesus. I like the random slot of Jewish on the map there, huh? Tengri, Tengri, Tengri. Germanic is doing okay. Old Yatnar is still holding out there. The last of the ice giants. Um, Catholic is... Honestly, just really annihilated. Druidic is doing insanely well. Hellenic is obviously doing exceptionally well. Oh my god. Luciferian still holding out there in southern Italy. Who are you? Odin? What do you mean, Odin? Odin who? 
Odin, Odin, oh, Odin, Baldur's son. Man on the order of Sigbjorn. This is exactly why I gave the, the gods a little bit of plot power, because it doesn't make sense that Baldur was slain by some random dude. Oh my god, we have actual troops now in our provinces. This is insane. We've already picked up like 4,000 extra men there. Um, still lead the assault. Those guys could be a home defense force. And we are going to torch the UK. I'm going to burn down Stonehenge. Mark my goddamn words. How do you burn stones? I don't know. I'll find a way. I'll find a name. We've, we've, we've got the power of the Lord on our side. I've got power and I've got the power of anime and God. That's the that's the meme, right? Right, get over here, merge together. Let's um, let's just these these guys are literally just on defense. I'm not I'm not ever gonna move them from these islands because as we've seen before, that's a slippery slope to uh, basically losing everything that we've built up. Go for Wiltshire, of course. The it's what they call it, the Jewel of Alba, Wiltshire. Let's move. Uh, excuse me. We need to actually get a little bit closer. It turns out weird that. Right, there we go. I was just expecting him to swim the channel to be honest. Boom. Hello, Stonehenge. Welcome. Do you recognize me? Where is he leading troops? <gasps> Oh, that could be a uh, that could be a, a juicy bit of war score there. Okay, fine. Let's hunt you guys down. Extremely can lead those the, the defense force. Brandamina can lead the attack force. This is good. Teutonic campaign. Hockmeister Gort Zello of the Orders Domus Sancte Marine Third. Blah 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 blah. That word can uh, apparently has also launched a campaign too. Fine. That's for like the the Baltic area, right? I actually have no clue. I don't know what the Teutonic Order did. Why would I know that? This year was not the most productive for the steel furnace in the Citadel. Lose 300 prestige to gain 71 gold. Sure. Sure, fine. I need the money right now, seeing as we've got troops raised. Don't forget, we still have a lot of mercenaries hide. 28 gold per month. This is a, this is a, a war of attrition. This is absolutely a war of attrition. Are they going to be able to whittle down our wealth before we can at least try and secure a white piece? I'd love to get them to surrender. I really would. But, I mean, if it comes down to a white piece, I'm obviously going to take it. Another dead horse. Hey, China. Uh, <laughs> literal definition of beating a dead horse here. Excuse me. I would like a fancy horse. War horse. We did what extremely never could. We've, we've made the Chinese into our allies. Oh, that's insanely powerful. Wow. Both prestigious and deadly. Mount of troops get a bonus. Melee damage gets a bonus. Melee defense gets a bonus. That was some good shit right there. Do we even have a weapon equipped? Um, you know what? We don't have a weapon because I sent it to China. Um, we could do it another one of those then. Can I, can I forge a sword? Obviously, I'm not going to do it right now. I need to wait. Still can't forge a sword. I mean, that monster is completely broken. I wouldn't be surprised. Siege of Wilton. 15% war score. And now, now you burn. Oh, it would be so good if you could pillage, uh, like, start pillaging. Maybe it'd be like have a ridiculously huge garrison, start burning it down. I've seen the Hagia Sophia burn down, but I don't know exactly what caused it. Maybe it's just taking a, or probably looting. That's probably what does it, right? Um, what else have you got that's in your personal domain? Nothing. They've got Wiltshire and the Circle of Druids. Fine. Um, let's go hunt some troops. And if we want to get just more random war score, we can always get that from, from Spain rather than coming all the way over here. Hey, get out. Thank you. Extremely. Go deal with that man. Go deal with that man. Thank you. What are you? Uh, alchemist? Oh, that sounds like it could be useful, but I'm not entirely sure. Kill them all. There we go. Siege of Marseille. Why do we care about that? Thank you. Oh, that's why I care about that. Yeah, no, I remember because we uh, we have we have provinces in uh, in in well Provence and Nice, etc. Right, let's go for that. We need to. This is this is where the bulk of their war score is coming from, and this is where the bulk of our war score is going to come from by killing their armies. Counter siege these as well. Puts us probably in white piece territory, but again, if we can, I'm absolutely gonna. Satan had Satan was killed by a man in personal combat. Um, who? Was killed by a random Norse man. <laughs> okay, Satan has been banished back to hell. Impressive stuff there. Goodbye, Satan. Nice knowing you. What the fuck is the deal with that, huh? Well, who knows? Satan deal feels but was slain by hissing. Incredible. Welcome to CK2, everyone. Uh, you want to buy my bundle of pipes? Absolutely. That's going to pay for these armies for yet another couple of months. I'm not going to call this revenge, but I am going to call it uh, divine retribution. Might be the best way to describe it. They're going to arrive in the Provence on the 6th of November. Our morale is not going to be fully reinforced by them, but we're... We've already got Brandamina on the center with that 50% damage bonus, whatever it is against religious enemies. They, again, have no God's blood left. It's all dried up. So this is basically going to be whether or not a single angel can carry us. And my God, it looks like we might. Why are they not reinforcing? They're just going to stand there and watch them, watch their men get slain. Oh my God, it cost us a lot as well. But my God, did that do a decent amount. Now they're going to reinforce. So what we'll do then is we'll head over to... Uh, Menorca, I don't remember which one it is, uh, whatever, yeah, this one, Sanctus Day. We'll head over to where our, our Holy Lands are, we'll grab our troops, and then we'll go and reinforce the actual bulk of the attacking force now. Because I feel like their army is spread so thin, they're not going to have any more, you know, a significant army to try and attack our home territory. Even if they do, we can get back in time. Get roasted. Get absolutely roasted. Right, merge these together, let's counter siege. Oh, look at this, 34%, 40%. This is it. 
So the Russian Plow War obviously still going on there. I assume we just need to go and grab some from War Score from anywhere for those guys. Speaking of which, they've got War Score right here as well. Mountain Expert, Flanker, or Battlefield Terrain Master? Um, I think I'm going to go with Mountain Expert because honestly, a lot of where we're fighting, I mean, either our home territory is, is mountains, right? It is. So that's going to be very, very good from a defensive position. Um, 46%. 2,000 in the capital. Well, they obviously can't launch. Well, what's our garrison size? And then we've got to determine how scared we should be. Oh, we should be very scared. We should be very scared. In fact, why can't they siege that? Oh, because we've got a little bit of levy left over too. Duh. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, let's go and counter siege Nice. Great Holy War for Armenia. They're fighting each other. That's that's fantastic news. I assume that is then... Sorry, was that... Was that Kemet versus... It is. Egypt versus Olympus. Well, that's fantastic, because that gets Olympus off our back for a while. We just have to deal with, apparently, Perun and uh, and the Celtic Pantheon. We can rank up to Oblatus, and I've started the Counter Siege as well. Let's just start ripping through Iberia, because this is... Uh, we'll, ki we'll kick him out of our capital again. On, on the way over there, we'll try and kick him out of Iberia too. We might as well help out. Can we even help out with this Reconquest? Oh, it's against Zeus. Right, they're going for northern Iberia. Okay, well, that's not our problem. I was going to say, we might be able to net them some war score at the same time, but it's uh, a little bit irrelevant. Right, let's go over there. Stop them taking our mainland. Oh, thank you. Cool. Game 15, Piety. We've actually converted the majority of the population to Catholicism. Oh, that's so good. Cool. We need to focus on this uh, religious proselytization game a lot more as well. Otherwise, Waldensian and such places are going to... Uh, 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 Waldensian and Lollard, especially in Cathara, are going to conquest us just sort of quietly in the background there without even realizing it. Get out, please. Excuse me. Leave this island forever. Oh, shit. Here we go. Wait, we're only a tough soldier. This is... I'm actually really glad that this character has started to develop so well here. Gain humble. We're gaining another virtue. We're gaining tough soldier. Oh, sorry. We're losing tough soldier. Gaining skilled tactician. This is fantastic. This character might be our first archangel. I feel like... I feel like... I've, got, I've just got a good feeling about it, you know? I feel like we're really going to see a, a, a nice uptick in our dynasty. And it's going to be hard to top extremely, don't get me wrong. But if anybody can do it, I think it's our, it's our boy Brandon Mina. Fantastic name as well for Brandon Heretics and Heathens, huh? Thank you all for watching. We're going to have to leave this one here for today because this is overran massively. But I was getting into the Holy Wars. Tomorrow, more Holy Wars. I mean, is anybody really going to complain about that? We are absolutely going on the offensive. Our goal now, turn Brandon Mina into a true successor to Ray Extreme. He has, a, he has big shoes to fill and I think she's the person to do it. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. I still, as I said on the other video, don't have uh, the up-to-date lists. Uh, unfortunately, they are taking still a while to process things. It hopefully should be done by the end of today. So we should have that all well and nicely done for tomorrow. Big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmos, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukundo Vasquez, Fluff and Utter, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Dean Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Muller, Mr. Smug, Musk Ratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Scott, Skaz, Shayok Sinclair, Surth, all the Swedes, Stannis the Manus, the Forsaken One, T-Back Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backers, and everybody else over at Patreon. Thank you. Much appreciated. I will try and get this list done as soon as possible. I would. I will make sure everybody gets a shout out. Apologies to those of you who I am missing out today, but again, it's uh, taking their sweet ass time with things. Wow, I'm excited now. I, th I think this is this is truly the era of the real great Holy Wars.